Hello everybody and welcome to the quarterly update, quarter 4 of 2016. Hope you guys had a wonderful holiday as well as a fantastic new year. I know this quarterly update's coming a little late, so I want to thank you guys for being patient. It is near the end of January now. Uh, the holiday season was a very busy time for me as well as uh, the whole beginning of January has just been absolutely uh, I don't want to say awful, but it's just been very busy, so I haven't really had a chance to sit down and actually put together my notes uh, for this quarterly update, but here they are, and uh, we're going to push forward with it. So, uh, now that it is the new year, I'd like to quickly uh, mention some resolutions I have for the channel, as that would be the proper thing to do. So, things I, I'd like to see... Uh, I'd like to have 10,000 subscribers before the year's over. I know that's kind of a massive leap, uh, but I think it's achievable. I think it's something that we can do. So it'd be really cool to see uh, by the time 2018 rolling around, uh, us sitting on or around 10,000 subscribers. I think that'd be really neat. Uh, as well as more streaming. I'd like to do a lot more streaming this year. I think I'm going to have a little bit more time for it on my weekends, so... That's something I'm kind of pushing for is doing a lot more streaming uh, through YouTube and Twitch. I know I've already vamped it up a bit uh, since I started the channel, so you guys have been enjoying that. I get a good amount of people every time I do stream, and we play all sorts of games, so uh, it's something that you guys can kind of expect more as the year goes on. Uh, with the streaming and then the last thing is uh, more community involvement I'm not gonna go too in depth with all of that as uh, I will kind of uh, explain that as we get to uh, the near uh, near the end of the quarterly update video so uh, if you haven't noticed we reached 2,000 subscribers that's pretty awesome so wow thank you everybody 2,000 subscribers that's a uh, pretty impressive I mean it's a lot of people, <laughs> so I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. I think that's pretty awesome. Now, 2,000 subscribers wasn't actually like where I set the milestone bar, so if you guys were wondering why there wasn't a milestone video for the 2,000 subscribers hit, uh, that's actually because I'm waiting for 2,500 subscribers. So 2,500 subscribers is actually where I set my milestone bar. So as soon as we have uh, that many subscribers, which I think we're on track for hitting that very soon, uh, once we get that, I'll be releasing a milestone video. I'd like to do something special for that video, so maybe some type of uh, giveaway or uh, something unique. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see what I can put together. Now, quickly to touch on future series that you guys can be expecting coming to you during this quarter. Um, by this quarter, I mean quarter one of 2017. As I... I I probably should explain that. I do the quarterly updates at the end of the quarters, and I'm kind of talking about, you know, what happened over the last quarter and then what to expect the next quarter. So, this coming quarter, you can expect some RimWorld. Uh, that game was gifted to me by a subscriber named Ego Slip. I really want to thank him. Thank you very much, Ego Slip. I really appreciate it. He got in touch with me about uh, whether or not I'd be doing RimWorld on the channel. I mentioned to him that I did want to do RimWorld on the channel. Uh, I've had it on my wish list for a while. I just haven't gotten around to purchasing it. And without even missing a beat, he just gifted me the game. So there is going to be RimWorld uh, before this quarter's up. And I'm just waiting to kind of get it in there. I've got a very busy schedule right now for games lined up for the channel, but RimWorld's definitely going to be on that list and definitely going to be coming out, so you can expect that very shortly. And I'm going to be doing a kind of uh, more uh, difficult playthrough of that game, uh, so that's something to expect. Uh, another game, Urban Empire. I know it's got some kind of mixed reviews on Steam for the game, but I really did want to play it uh, because it looks like it's unique. So, I mean, the reviews, a lot of the reviews I'm getting or people are saying it's kind of repetitive or boring. I'm not really sure. I guess we'll be the judge of that. I am going to do a series on it. It might not be a long series, but I'm definitely going to touch on Urban Empire because it's a game I've been looking forward to and I really want to check it out for myself and uh, see what it's all about. Another game, Dominions 4. You can expect another Dominions 4 series this quarter. It's definitely happening. And I don't want to say too much about it because I don't know how much anybody else has said about it. But that probably, for those of you who followed my Dominions 4 multiplayer series uh, last quarter, uh, that probably gives you just enough information to know it's on its way. So expect more Dominions 4 uh, before this quarter's up. And then 
more real-time strategy title titles. I want to cover more Dawn of War Ultimate Apocalypse. I'd also like to touch on Age of Empires 2 and StarCraft 2. I'm not very good at real-time strategy games. I mean, I'm okay at them, but they're not like you generally the funny thing about real-time strategy games is you have to play them a lot to get good at them. Like to be like professional just hot key monster just tapping at the keyboard 400 keystrokes a second. Like I'm not good at that. So um, but I'm still going to cover those games and play them because I think that it's unique and I think the channel does lack uh, real-time strategy titles. So that's something I want to try and imp improve on uh, this quarter as well as throughout the year. And uh, those aren't the only games I'm going to be covering. Those are just highlights of what to expect. But you can expect a lot more games uh, throughout this next quarter uh, in between the games that I just mentioned. Now... What else do we want to talk about here? Uh, an increase in collaboration. So as you guys might have noticed, I've been doing a lot more collab uh, collaborations recently with other YouTubers, and I've really enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun. I've managed to kind of find more time because I live in a different time zone than I used to when I first started the channel. It's made it a lot more convenient for me to be able to do those collaborations. And so you can expect an increase in collaborations throughout the year. I'm still going to be doing videos by myself as well. But I do like playing games multiplayer. I think it adds a whole different perspective to playing games and it creates a very unique playing field. So I'm going to be uh, continuing with the collaborations with other YouTubers. I want to have at least one collabor uh, collaboration going at all times, if not two, uh, just because multiplayer is a lot more enjoyable for a lot of games. It just adds that special twist, especially when it comes to strategy games. Uh, so that'll be the plan, and if you guys have any suge suggestions for YouTubers I should do collaborations with, please let me know, because uh, I'd always like to find more people, as well as continuing my collaborations with people I've already done uh, collaborations with. Uh, the other big thing is I mentioned earlier that I wanted more community involvement this year as part of my channel resolution, and so what did I mean by that? Well, I'd like to uh, do some type of increase in community gatherings. For example, maybe you guys think I should start a Reddit page where everybody can kind of converse uh, about the channel and we could talk about games coming out like strategy games. We could talk about, um, we could link things like uh, maybe, uh, I'm trying to think of like good examples. I mean, we could link strategy games. We could talk about, you know, uh, games you think should be on the channel and stuff like that and you know it'd be a place for me to be able to post when i'm streaming and whatnot i mean so that's something to consider i know somebody else also brought up a discord uh where people could chat and get together i'm not uh 100 sure how to put that all together i do have a discord and i use it usually for when i'm doing collaborations with certain youtubers because some people prefer discord so that's something to also consider and where I'm mainly going with the community gatherings thing at the end of all of this is I'd like to have multiplayer games put together for the community. So I think it'd be really cool if I could host like maybe Stellaris multiplayer or EU4 or I can host like real time strategy games. And then you guys, the community, can jump in and play those games with me and I can make videos with it or I could stream it. I think it would be really unique. It'd be a lot of fun. And I don't see any reason why because this isn't just a channel for you guys to watch me play games but I really want it to be more of a channel where we're a community and we play games together and that's where I'm trying to move the channel to but it's just difficult because I know everybody's got different time zones and sometimes when you've got a lot of people who want to do something it's hard to organize that but I really want to start getting that together so if you guys have suggestions for a good way to do that please let me know in the comments down below uh, because that's something I want to start ro uh, getting the ball rolling with this year uh, and I want to just end with some closing remarks. Thank you guys so much for the 2,000 subscribers. We're going to hit 2,500 very soon. I can feel it. And uh, thanks for creating uh, this community with me and making it a very non-toxic zone because we really don't have, I, I have had no issues with the community. It's been a wonderful place to be and it really does make my day. It makes my entire week whenever I get comments from you guys and uh, whenever you guys tell me you're enjoying something so i do appreciate it i want to end off with encouraging you guys to go over to my twitter and follow it uh at sabouts because 
that is the best way for me to communicate with you guys on things that are going through my mind with the channel and uh, if something happens and I can't upload a video that's the first place I'm gonna post it because there's really no convenient way as of now for me to engage with you guys through my YouTube channel other than posting videos and if I can't post a video the only other way for me to tell you guys about it is through my tw Twitter account so until YouTube fixes their community way to engage with their community members and such uh, Twitter is the best way to do it I promise my Twitter is not a link dump for videos in fact I'm awful with posting my videos on Twitter I I like well sometimes I, I very rarely usually the only thing I post with videos is like the first episode of a series and then I never post anything again about that series my Twitter is strictly a way for me to communicate strategy gaming I retweet uh, like interesting strategy articles uh, explore articles I will retweet games that I'm interested in playing on the channel I'll talk about like what I'm trying to expand on with the channel and it's also the best place to catch up if I'm streaming or if I'm uh just reaching out to you guys about maybe something uh, that I'm thinking to do with the channel so it is a great place to go and just chat with me on a more personal level because uh, YouTube just does absolutely does not allow any way to do that but yeah thanks again guys I really do appreciate it uh, get ready for an exciting quarter an exciting year and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next quarterly update